Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. In the previous episode we had to abandon ship, well we didn't really have to, there was another opportunity that I just didn't think of, so instead of abandoning the ship we could just have landed it. <laughs> But you know, in a state of panic, I just didn't think of it. But then again, we would have had to disassemble the ship either way because I have no opportunity on this planetoid to refuel it, really. But yeah, right now my driller is approaching the planetoid so we can save our two duplicants. And there it is. Okay, now all we have to do is get them in there. How can I do that? I think what I have to do is disable the Atmosu checkpoint. Yeah, I'm gonna disable that for a brief moment and then send Jean over to the rocket that has arrived. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing with Meep, just bring him over into the rocket, but we still have to actually specify that here inside the crew menu. So Meep and Jean are part of the crew, just like Mima, and they should be able to now go back home. We can acknowledge the warning, begin the launch sequence, and then hopefully everyone is gonna be happy. Yeah. Just enter the ship, please, and fly back home. Wonderful. And of course, before we forget, enable the Atmosu checkpoint again, and we're golden. That should be a successful rescue mission. Good luck! In the meantime, on the Hotel Planetoid, we're making some progress. I'm now focusing on building the pipes so we can fill up the left side here with some precious oxygen as well. And afterwards, I figured what we should do is still set up a rocket and then maybe just relay the signal. You said it is possible. For instance, we could have a rocket right here, send the signal to the rocket and then back to the main planetoid. The other suggestion was just to store as much food as possible and then once we overfill we just keep on storing it. So technically this isn't necessary. What we could just do is say we always enable the interplanetary launcher and as soon as we have enough food we're just gonna send it over. And especially right now in the beginning it really doesn't matter so we can just set up this switch. There it is. We have it enabled. Now new food can tag along. Let's actually see. There are some errands for this. Right now nobody is taking care of it though. This will become much better once we we get our two duplicants back from the third planetoid. There it is, my rocket should be arriving any second now. Come on, boots, 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 boots. There it is, wonderful. Gonna close those bunker doors and now I need to be slightly careful because if they exit right now, they're gonna be burned up. So I need to make sure they go all the way back home. Like Meep, you're not going to repair. What you want to do is go back into the base in order to get a new Atmos suit, right? And then the same thing here with Jean. She's eating some berry sludge. Yeah, scolding. That's absolutely expected. However, Meep should be going out of the scolding environment. Wonderful. Uh, no, wait, where's Jean? <sighs> Darn it. Jean, where are you? Oh my gosh. Uh, there she is. Okay. Going back into the base. Oh, thank you. Also, check out my mixed berry pie stash here. That is just absolutely amazing. I'm gonna keep this at priority 5. This can also be priority 5 because it's regulated by the auto sweeper. But yeah, we have an awful lot of fresh berry pie. 30 kilograms should be enough to get the thing going. That means maybe we can invite two or three more guests, but there are a few more issues we have to resolve before we do that. First of all, the sauna right here. It is going to require 25 kilograms of steam per use. We can pump 500 grams per second. So one thing we could try is to regulate it with a gas meter valve, though this one would be much better situated inside of the contraption, honestly. Hmm. You know, I might be able to make my way inside of here, just set up a bottle emptier maybe there. And this would allow me to access this part in order to expand it slightly. Now my steam here is currently at 111 degrees, so we could easily add something like salt water without risking anything. On the other side then I risk having salt water spilling inside, that is not good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try it with water, just fill this up enough so we can open these two tiles and nothing is gonna happen. Currently there's not really much water going back to my rocket here, I wonder, is it full enough? Not really. Can we stay here? I don't want to mess this up again. Yeah, we have lots inside the fridge. There's also still 9 tons of oxalite and enough rat pills as well. Also, you let me know to change this to Brackeen. Of course, we should accommodate that. But of course, that is still something we'll have to provide. And there is my water. Uh, wait. 
It did not even go here. Oh my gosh. Is it this metal tile that was in the way? I'm not sure. Yeah, looks like we're still missing a bunch of important pipes. But let's think about this. We only really want to send over steam that is necessary. Right now, we probably have way more than 25 pipes. No, we actually need 50 pipes full of 500 gram packets basically which is why i want to install the meter valve so we can run through exactly 25 kilograms once that's done it's gonna wait for how long that really depends on how many duplicates we'll have we could go with a safe margin so there's always a slight downtime with the sauna or maybe we can detect it no there's no detection. We don't really know when it requires new steam. So either we do it periodically, set on a timer, or another option would be to just allow the steam to flow in a circle. So we can always go back to the room and actually get steam that is hot enough. But I still think it's gonna result in a couple of issues. Right now, all I need is this liquid lock. Okay, now we should be able to open this up, but only destroy the buildings. Thank you. Okay, now it is open and uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, this seems to be okay. Okay, this is heating up. Let's uh, take care of what we need to take care of. And that is building a gas meter valve out of steel. I'm gonna place it here here and then we need to build this over this can go this can go at the bottom as well and then we want to lead it through this pipe the gas meter valve comes with automation slots a reset meter and a output we probably don't need the output because we just want to set a interval at which we're going to trigger the reset meter this can be anywhere, for instance, right here where we have, let's see. Yeah, probably just a timer sensor is going to make it the easiest. Okay, and now I got to make sure that we build all of this as soon as possible. This has now the highest priority and hopefully we can do this before we overheat the water here. If, oh man, this doesn't look good. <laughs> Maybe this is going to struggle a little bit more once it reaches temperatures. Oh, oh, oh this is not good. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. Thankfully, there's always a little bit of water left, probably. Yeah, okay, that looks better. It's seven kilograms now. We can do this with just minor damages, please. <laughs> I know, I think Nisbet went out to get a rat pill. That is not good. You need to finish this. Actually, right now, it seems to be more or less under control. This is the only spillage here. Oh, May, please finish it. Okay. It is finished. No power. Oh, I forgot the power. Well, I mean, it's not a huge issue, but we do have to build this quickly uh, before bedtime, actually. And then also build this insulated tile. Nice bed, current errand. Okay, okay. Oh no, they are already in their idle phase. I just hate it. The wire is finished and yeah, we couldn't finish the insulated tile. <laughs> I should have prioritized it as well. Oh man, they're wasting so much time. Look at this. And this is probably the only thing that a annoys me over time with oxygen not included. Just things take an enormous amount of time over time and you just don't get enough stuff done. I mean, Nisbet is, it's, it's her current errand for the entirety of the day. Then they sometimes interrupt their task to get rap pills. And of course we had some overheat damage. <laughs> Oh, this is so frustrating. This is why I love Factorio so much. You can be so efficient in the game if you know what you're doing. But we open this up again in order to let out all the steam. Ah, it's not even that bad. I want them to repair the pipe now and then we rebuild this ceramic tile, okay? Dude, are you serious? Repair- Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, now at least we should be safe again, even though we have to mop up a little bit. And of course, I did not fix this, but I don't think this is going to be the last time I'm actually getting in there. The next time I'm going to make it a little bit more elegantly and maybe off camera. And with elegantly, I simply mean just using oil instead of water. That would have been great. Yeah, I even forgot the backdrop and I also want to make this square. So these two blocks are going to move over as well as the large power transformer. But more importantly, we now want to set the 25 kilograms. And if we do this correctly, for instance, just set the green duration to one second and the red duration to 600 seconds, then this would activate the sauna once per cycle. Now, this might already be too much for just one duplicate, but all I want to test out whether or not it works with the gas meter valve. The problem could be that the pump is not quick enough. No, actually the meter valve should just take care of that problem. So in this case, I'm gonna reset the timer so it gets reset here as well. And then we're running 25 kilograms through this thing. Right now we are at 10 kilograms. And 
and uh, there it is those should be the last remaining kilograms and in that time i don't think the steam is gonna heat up or cool down that dramatically right right now we are at 109 degrees and we started from 111 or so maybe even less than that so at maximum we lose a couple of degrees just allowing it to flow through but if something gets stuck here if there is a remainder then this is gonna cool down enough in order to break the pipe so let's hope the meter valve is exact. Yeah, there's nothing left in here. And is this one full with, ooh, 27 kilograms? Ah, that's interesting. So we can store a little bit more. But it also means that the meter valve allowed more through than 25 kilograms. And you know, exactly that could bite us in the butt, that it is not exactly 25 kilograms. And I've been observing that in previous save games as well. We had to make like an overflow. I mean, we could just bring this all the way up and make an overflow here somewhere. But I much rather have this meter be exact. That would have been amazing. Let's try to reset it one more time. You know, it could be that one second is too much. What if we go down to 0.1 second? So it just barely activates. Is this even a thing? Yeah, it looks like a thing. So if I reset the timer now, then it should still work. But because it's only like one tick or so, it's not going to do the extra two kilograms. Ah, check this out. Liam is actually already enjoying the sauna, which is amazing. That means there is... Wait, I should call him guest one, actually. Yeah, uh, okay. So the steam has been used up except 2,700 grams and now new steam is incoming and if we did it correctly we should once again have 27 kilograms in there 27.7 kilograms okay so that was my mistake to have it enabled for too long with just 0.1 second we actually get the exact amount of 25 kilograms now i have the issue that i still have 27 kilograms in here and i wish i could just expel it but i guess i have to deconstruct it and I probably also have to deconstruct the hot tub because there's nothing I can do to eject the water that is already too cold and you know what I just remembered something the hot tub I think I have to build with steel material for some reason I think it tends to overheat otherwise so I'm gonna do that right now build this out of steel again and now before this happens again i'm just gonna shut down the green duration and then later once we accept a bunch more guests i'm gonna revert this change okay there is my hot tub it says pipe blocked but that is just a temporary thing and now ooh, i'm not sure i wanted this yeah 42 degrees that should be hot enough Ah, I see. The problem is when the water is stacking up right here. So we might also have to limit that. This is not really good for me. I cannot have my water lingering around here. Otherwise, it's going to be too cold. Except the hot tub, of course, is being used frequently enough. So we might have to go through a tepidizer phase and heat up the water instead. Wait a second. We might be able to just utilize the water from the sauna, right? Because that will be extremely hot. Ah, it's already down to 37 degrees. Okay, we need a better solution. That means this pipe here has to go and we're gonna do it differently. I also still need the bleach stone. Maybe we need a source of bleach stone thinking about it. By the way, what we could do is instead go down here and then I'm gonna be bringing this over and joining this pipe here. So this doesn't have to go. Little bridge right there and that should be good. That means we don't need this part here anymore. This can still stay though. We could also just lead it back into the surfboard. Honestly, considering the situation, this might be much more practical. So maybe let's cut this off for now. And we're just going to recycle the water here. And then this can all go. Yeah, honestly, it's going to make it even cleaner. All right, then. Wonderful. The modifications have been made. We now have oxygen everywhere. And also the pipes have been remodeled. I'm not just using up the very last of the water that I have. But it looks like we do have a little bit of liquid going on here. And also some of the debris actually got stuck there another meteor shower i totally oh no i totally missed that one well we gotta suffer a little bit oh no okay well <laughs> what a shame either way what i meant to say is we still want to pick up the debris here so i will have to make my way inside 
But what I meant to say is the piping is now done, so the hot water should go into the hot top and I also felt like the metal flooring isn't helping. So I wanted to test out putting it on insulated tiles. But that essentially means we can get things going at least for let's say two periods or so. We're gonna reset that timer and allow 25 kilograms of steam to go into the sauna and then hopefully also fill up the hot top and then we'll see whether or not the liquid still cools down as quickly. Now I think before I actually send one duplicate back I also want to make sure to bring along the materials that we can make use of at home or that we don't need here at this planetoid. And in order to do that we're simply gonna set up an automatic dispenser here and then we're just gonna bring along the materials that we want. Let's say all sweep only and add priority one. So if I have anything else it's gonna be taken care of. Currently the duplicants are bringing the sweeping materials to this storage. That means I have a lot of stuff right here in this tile and we can just decide what we want to go for. So I will probably be a little bit more picky about the materials. Let's say the refined stuff we keep here but resources like lime graphite or fossils will be sent home <laughs> looks like we have someone using the phone there we go guest one is answering i need to fix this but let's maybe also do the backdrop here i need to unlock some more blueprints i haven't done that in like two weeks or so so we should be getting six digital chili okay that might actually be nice for the entertainment room rocket melon atmo belt jeez pipe ceiling light that actually looks nice. Manny Rock Crusher. <laughs> Dreamy Retro Wall Pot. Some basic orange pants. Blue Awning Stripe. I thought we already had something like that. Solid Satsuma. Nice. Okay. An orange drywall. I like that. Green Glitter Atmo Gloss. The Swell. Swell. We got a new painting. That is amazing. Ballad Shoes. Must be practical in this colony. Glossy Glee. Ah, that is just another balloon. Underdog Gym Socks. And that was everything. Looking at the pipe ceiling lights, this might actually fit in my bathrooms here. Yeah, you know what? I think this would be very fitting indeed. I really like that idea. Good thing we unlocked it. Can have one in each bathroom. Then we can make use of the new drywall pieces, setting them up in a checkerboard pattern, then rotate it around and this should give a very nice look for the gym room. Whoa, 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 wait. Where did my food go? I should, oh man, I think they must have stored it in here or something. I don't know. There is some berry sludge here, okay? But just a little bit. Oh my gosh, Gossman, you need to fly back home. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and begin that launch sequence so Gossman can grab some new food. But then also, where is my other food? It's not in here. I'm certain, well, it is in here actually. There is some um, muckroot and excellent fruit. But I was sure I have more than 4,800 kilocalories. Just where? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had some berry sludge at some point. Okay, well, maybe now it's time to send over our first portions of food. How much do we currently have? About 43 kilograms. So we could say we want to launch at 46 kilograms, right? Plus the 3000 grams. And then if we change the destination and set it again, this should be shot. Okay, and we're gonna put it up to 200 kilograms again. So now it's gonna go over here. Let's see, it will be put down here to the bottom where a duplicate needs to pick it up right now but i've already set it in this conveyor loader at priority seven so it is going to go all the way down into this conveyor receptacle and then it's going to be brought into one of these fridges at priority eight and then it should be brought down here to these fridges at priority nine how long is this going to take just half a cycle okay we should be able to survive it but i'm really surprised i'm so sure we had like 20 kilograms of berry sludge still well, maybe we're lucky and we can spawn some food. No, not really. I think for now we need to eat up the swamp chart hearts as much as it hurts. So I'm actually gonna allow these for everyone because if we have any in the colony, I would say they can just eat it up. The same thing with the excellent fruit. Where is it? Right there. We can just go ahead and gobble this up. To be honest, the muckroot as well. Let's just get rid of that by eating it. And then maybe even meal lice. Because I have a lot of that stuff just hanging around. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, wonderful. There is my food and there it drops. And somebody is picking it up right away. Of course. Ah. No, I'm such an idiot. I can't do this manually. I need to do it with an auto sweeper. Otherwise, they're always going to bring it to the highest priority, which is this fridge. And at the moment, that's okay. But obviously, this will have to be up 
optimized. So we need a definite spot for the payload opener and where to actually drop the food. Maybe we're just gonna directly bring it all the way down because what is left otherwise that we need to send over, we need to keep a supply of certain items, of course, like brackeen and sand, maybe even more delicate materials. But we can always opt to do that with the rocket that is bringing the petroleum either way. So we can just stock up the rocket and then when the rocket comes here, it will be automatically brought over. Well, automatically with duplicates. <laughs> Sometimes by automatically, I mean <laughs> I'm not doing it myself. Okay, I've observed the situation a little bit and I have really bad news. First and foremost, the timer still goes off even if you have it set to zero seconds. Well, this is also good news because we can just have it set to zero seconds and it's still gonna give an impulse. The bad news is that we now have stuff in our pipes and of course the pipes are breaking. So I temporarily cut this off until we have more duplicates. This issue is gonna resolve itself once we have more duplicates using the sauna on a regular basis. Another issue I discovered is right here with the wind tunnel. It seems as though powering it with a conductive wire isn't enough. If I unpause this quickly, it just doesn't seem to get the power. Let's see this again. Guest one is trying to use it, can use it for a little while, and then it seems to be shutting off. And it also, what, what is, ah, it might also be the pressure. Liam, try that again. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, intake requires gas. Okay, we have no gas at the bottom. That seems to be the problem. Let's check this out once again. Um, I don't get it. There seems to be enough gas. Maybe it's the water here at the bottom. That could be an issue. So before I mop this up, I need to wait for the remaining steam here to actually break all my pipes. Well, maybe we can extract it before it breaks. Alrighty, I'm about to wrap up the video. Right now, I disabled the hot tub with the automation grid. And if we have a look inside, the temperature always goes down to 37.7. So I'm a little bit confused. If I enable this and then check the water again, actually, there is none inside right now. No. I Actually, it just dropped below 36.4 degrees at the moment and now it became 50 again. Is that because we had some incoming? I'm not 100% sure. That is so weird. I don't think I understand the hot top well enough. Now it's uh, water 45 kilograms at 52 degrees before it was 100 kilograms at 36 degrees. I have absolutely no idea what is going on. All I know is I also need a little bit of bleach stone to make this work. But you can see I've been cleaning up a little bit. I also hooked up the lamps. There's just one cable that I have to build still so we can do this here from the top. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. I think the next time we are gonna invite up to five hotel guests in order to test the facilities a little bit more and maybe see something that we still have to take care of. But yeah, until then I would say I'm just gonna keep on going. There are now a few little things that we need to take care of. For instance, we still need to enable things like the espresso machine or the soda fountain. I think these are the only two things that I currently cannot run. One of them I think runs on CO2, so that would be very convenient. Checking the chooser, we can see we're gonna need some bristle berries and mushrooms and meal lice. So I'm not really sure I want to go for all of that, but probably for the sake of having everything in the hotel, we might tackle it still. Then as for the soda fountain, this one requires the carbon dioxide and that is everything we're missing. So maybe that is another thing we can uh, take care of. Wait a second. How does it use the carbon dioxide? Oh no, we actually have to bottle up the carbon dioxide. There is no direct intake pipe for that. So we will have to gather the carbon dioxide at the bottom and then maybe add a canister filler. Yeah, honestly, we can probably do that right now. I wonder, do I have this thing activated? Yeah, it is indeed activated, the carbon skimmer here. But I really think we should only activate it if the entirety of the room at the bottom is filled up with carbon dioxide. So what I'm gonna do is check a gas element sensor. We can, for instance, put it right right here. Uh, yeah, that seems to be appropriate. And then we only activate the carbon skimmer if the CO2 has reached these levels right here, because that means we cannot really take care of it. But other than that, we can just use a pump in order to gobble up some of the carbon dioxide. And then of course we want to put it into a canister filler, something like that. Now let me put this one more block over and we're gonna have a mini gas pump right there. Now I don't really want to leave this directly over here. Actually we could. 
good, right? Because everything is just gonna be gobbled up. Yeah, honestly, let's just try this out. I'm directly gonna connect this. This should already be hooked up to power. Well, not quite, but there we go. And once that is done, we can pick up the carbon dioxide in gas canisters and bring it over here to the soda fountain. So I'm already gonna enable this since the only thing we're really missing is the carbon dioxide, right? Now, what about the espresso machine? You are gonna require some pincha pepper nuts, which I think we should do. Yeah, we only need a mushroom farm and a pincha pepper nut farm in order to get things rolling, right? Because I already have a lot of meal lice from the main planetoid as I'm using the seeds to spice the food. Okay, I can definitely see this working. We're almost done, guys. This is amazing. Now, I don't think I'm actually gonna be doing the petting zoo. I first invite all the duplicates and then if the game still runs well then we can consider the soup other than that this might be the end we'll see i'm also ready for a fresh project i really want to dive into uh, something else maybe even something other than oxygen not included for instance, I feel ready for the next part of uh, Factorio. Been hinting at that for a couple of times, but I'm also interested in other stuff as well. So with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.